Hello everyone! In this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough then also you can search for yourself but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys. And as always keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. Ryoma ended up privating a video that he had. A stream that he had because he was playing Apex Legends. He was feeling a little sick etc. I mean I, I hope he feels better because I am a human being. I don't hate them just to hate them. Uh, if they do something bad, then yes. But Roma, so far, as far as I know, is not connected to anything bad. There were the accusations before with him. But as far as I know, nothing has come to fruition from that. So we have him feeling a little sick. And I hope he does feel better. We also have the Apex Legends thing. The matchmaking. Yeah, you can see it right there. You have Roma with Doki Bird and Rampart's Khan Kankle. Rampart's Kankle. <clears throat> so he did private the video. Oh, no shot. Holy S. Hope he had fun playing with her. Ah, F. Did he play with Doki? Randomly matched. What are the odds? Would have been more interesting if she was streaming. She wasn't streaming though. Did she would have just either left the match or said nothing. Doki has said she's avoiding any interaction with members because she doesn't know how they feel about her. I'd guess she would extend new members as well. She really has become Voldemort for them. And the funny thing is she didn't even need to be. That's why they chose her to be. That's what they chose her to be exactly. Anyone got an archive of it? Got this news secondhand from a few friends in Discord, so I'm not sure. Question is, do you think Naturally decided to be private on his own or did he get told to? I don't know. But here it is. It is privated. Whenever this happens on the YouTube side, either it has been taken down for copyright reasons or it is privated. In this case, no copyrights were were harmed in the making of the video. And instead, because of the fact that Doki Bird was put in there and they are seeing them, like has been mentioned before, as like a Voldemort type character, Romo was probably told to private it now that he has Doki Bird on there. If anything, they are definitely not doing, uh, Ian is not doing them any favors. Ian is not doing the whole handler thing until something like this happens. It's Doki in everyone's walls, poor guy. Kind of the risk for Niji Apex after they tried to zion on her. Doki plays Apex for fun. Hell, didn't we see her profile as Doki at that in Reimu's friend list before Niji Sanji execution attempt? So any talents who decide to stream Apex always run the risk of Doki being there. And honestly, management is probably more pissed at her appearing than the talents because Doki being there is a reminder of what they thought uh, what they brought upon themselves. Yes, we did. Stream where it happened has most likely been edited to remove it as evidenced by a live chat replay not available for this video message. Screenshot I found on Discord. This is one where Doki Bird is there as friends because, of course, not everyone hates them. Not everyone's going to hate them. Never mind another post of screenshots. Damn, Apex always brings out the most awkward moments between this Doki Bird and uh, third wheeling on a date. Hope at least one person captured it. Of course, as we had shown before, here is the Doki Bird capture of this whole situation. And she wasn't streaming, so we're not going to be able to see her side. But of course, knowing how Niri Sanji is, he may have very well done it to preempt, like to, to try to prevent any serious situations happening between him and management. So they made him so scared, probably, that they're like, you have to you have to either private it or he knows, like someone told him, hey, Doki Bird's in there. You have to private it, man. You're going to get into serious trouble if you don't private this. Either way, it was done. It's unfortunate because Doki Bird just wants to play. Just Doki Bird just wants to have fun. But, you know, Niji will never get over that. This actually makes me sad because Ame, as I've mentioned in the various, various times I've mentioned Ame, has been a person that is very, very much a trendsetter, a innovator in the EN space and has inspired a lot of people, including Doki and others, to continue creating, to continue making new things, to continue bringing things out there. Amelia Watson is the reason why uh, uh, Hollow EN is... Hollow Myth had their Mythoween, their Myth Halloween thing. I think it was in their first year on a VR chat. And that is something that like, I don't think anyone, anyone in Hollow Life had done before that, whether it be JP, EN or whatever. Then after that, of course, it broke the, the, the dam. It broke the gates to create more of that stuff. You know, she's helped with 3D stuff. I mentioned this again and again, every single time I mentioned Ame, all the things she's done. So I'm not going to bore you with everything she's done, but she's done a ton of things for Myth and for Hollow Life. And someone has made a wonderful uh, kind of remembrance of everything that Ame has done. Unfortunately, with copyright and things like this, in order for me to be able to put it in a video, I have to mute or silence most of the music, but I will let you hear some of it at the very least, like at the very least, like a beginning of it. And um, then we'll see if it still gets muted. If I still have to mute it in the actual stream, in the actual uh, video, then it is, of course, because it got copywritten by them because it's something I believe from, if I'm not mistaken, down here it says, it is a cover by uh, Honkai Impact. And you know, Honkai Impact, it's a big game. 
So it's definitely gonna have some copyright stuff, but I'll let you hear some of it. It's like, it's, it's sad. And I wish I can show you more. I really wish I could show you the whole song, but the way freaking YouTube does the things, it's just, it's freaking horrible. To say. And of course, it's going over everything, everything that she's done, everything that she has been, everything that she is and will be, and every, every experience that she's had with myth, everything that she has brought up. Uh, she was uh, known as the first chumbud for, um, of course, uh, Gura, and she is known as someone who has always been behind every single member of myth, of promise, of everybody that has come after her. Everyone who is now a part of Hollow EN has her and the myth girls to thank for everything that has happened. And of course, she will be deeply missed. She's not leaving in the sense of a full-on graduation, but in the way it's going about, it will be a, a graduation. It will be kind of the same way, the same thing, as in we're not going to see her stream again. We may see her be in an off collab. We may see her be in a project like a charity stream, a charity thing occasionally with Myth, or maybe in their next anniversary, if she's still around, she'll be there as well. But it seems like she has a lot of projects that she wants to do, and that's what she's doing. And uh, it is painful for the community to say goodbye to a wonderful creator like her. And that is why I am putting this out there, because this is a goodbye for her and everything that she's done. And of course, as this thing says, may you, the beauty of this world, always shine. Thank you forever. Thank you, I'm a forever myth, of course. And that is what I wanted to show you guys. Of course, it is a, like I said, a sad moment, but it is a moment that we respect her wishes. We respect what she wants, and we respect that she has some time that she needs for herself and her projects and everything she wants to do. And of course, we hope to see her back, but if she decides, finally, that it is in her best interest to no longer stream or be a part of Hololive. That is something we'll cross when it gets there. We're not there yet, but when it gets there, we'll cross that bridge. We are taking a look at another thing that Hololive is popping out with. Holo R1 or Holo Round 1. It starts at 10 11 2024. Promo dates vary. Check the images for details. Hololive and Round 1 USA collab. Collect and play your faves. Right here, we have them collab 10 11 2024. We have Fubuki, Okayu, Gura, Ina in the front. Then we have from left to right, Iris, Fuwawa, and Mokoko right there. And it is a collab with random coasters included in your drinks. And you have Fuwawa's uh, Powerade Fizz, Mokoko Strawberry Cream Soda, Iris's Strawberry Lemonade, uh, Iris Strawberry Lemonade, uh, Ninomai Mango Cola, Gargura Sparkling Blue Soda. And Mango Cola looks like it actually has a scoop of mango ice cream. So that looks absolutely delicious. Of course, not anywhere where I can cheat. See it, freaking heck. Um, then you have, oh it, oh, it looks like little plushies as well that you can lay down. The lay down plushies and the heads, which is freaking cute. That is freaking cute. And of course, we have further down collaboration schedule change thank you for your understanding it has changed a little bit so the 10 11 is actually a different day it says 10 11 followed by drinks and keychains on 10 18 new crane items available on 10 25 sincerely appreciate your understanding and patience during this time please follow our official account round one usa for future uh updates and announcements so at the very least during the same day they decided to make that change and of course because i am doing all of the news in regards to that i will show you that change as well and um here we go so, so on October 26th, beyond, we can learn the plushies. 1025 plushies will be available at round one stores. Sometimes stores might vary due to shipment schedule. Please call your local round one to confirm. See if you have a local round one, if you want to go and see this. Of course, uh, Hololive doing amazing collabs like this. Every big agency does it, but Hololive has been, seems to know how to do it right. They seem to have the, uh, the formula down pat and the formula set in a correct way of doing this. So I, I love seeing this. Absolutely love seeing this. So that's great. It's great to see. As I had mentioned at a different point in time, we have Regloss who recently had their 3D live, which was an amazing 3D live. It is a fun 3D live to see. I like seeing the girls do fun things like this. So they had their 3D live. They had their fun times and they were really enjoying themselves, which is amazing to see. And um, they had a much better one than the colors one that uh, was made by Nidhi Sanji, but then everyone was pretty much making fun of that one a long time ago. And this is basically a push for the merch, the specific merch you have over here, of course, 
uh, Regloss 3D Live reached the top. They're mentioning here when the shipping period is mid February to mid March. So this is a pre order, the pre order period for their uh, acrylic photo frame, which is this one, the strap keychains, which are here, the, the, the specific for uh, Ao, Kanade, Ririka, then you have Raden and Hajime, all of them there. Bancho and everyone else, you have the prices here. The photo frame, 26 bucks. The key straps, 11, 11 bucks. The, the, these uh, keychains, because they look, they look well done. They have the straps there. They look well done. So that's always fun to have. I'm glad that they have it. And uh, here is a furthering of this, of the specific, uh, the 3D live official uh, acrylic stands are about $26. And here's the full look of the acrylic stands just themselves. So it is, of course, they're always pushing this. And just to give you a little bit of what everything's been going on, you got the posters, you have all this other stuff popping off here, the visuals for the 3Ds. And each of them has a mirror stand there where they're looking in the mirror. Then you have the acrylic stands, five different types. The uh, button badge with the case, five different types. You have, um, I can't really show you the top part because, you know, it, I have to be able to click the buttons down here. Uh, and of course, you have the towels, the name towel, as you see right there, five different types. The random ring lights. Uh, it, it's a light on a ring, pretty much. Five different types. Then you have all their stuff here. The playlist 03, acrylic stands, keychains, folder sets, random button badges. They're all there. And the showing of everything there and of course the showing of everything there even further and that is a bit of the fun that you can have well collecting all these things because for some people it can be very 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 fun to collect things it can be very nice to have everything be collected like that so it's it's always it's always a good thing to see it's always a good thing to take a look at lucy pyre one of the people that is associated with mythic talent one of the vtubers they have under their umbrella has recently had some good news first they had a new outfit reveal with wfn art being the papa of their outfit their specific outfit uh lucy pyre of course saying thank you so much for working so hard and doing a great job i love all of it so much this is what it's like to have a father figure of course responding to this was in charge of drawing said outfit based on the concept art by uh cho which got in turn rigged by Celia, which is a rigger of course and let me just uh, connect you to those two there. This is Celia, the one who did the rigging for it. And here's Cho, the one who did the art for it. And of course, as I mentioned before, when it comes to live 2D art, you have to uh, correctly layer things, correctly separate things so that when your person's rigging it, they're going to be able to rig it properly and do the best job that they can. And what happened after that? We had an announcement of a plush from Lucy. This is, of course, a nice, cute little plush. It looks very, very, um, it looks very devious, very devilish. And here we have the U2s. It's on U2s, which is a big one, which is, of course, the advantage that Mythic can give you. It's the U2s thing. Um, 12 days, 23 hours, 46 minutes, and you know zero seconds it by the time you've watched it it's either the number's gone way down it's either the actual time that's going to happen uh, it's going to only up available until october 12th so when you're watching this no just base it on your time pacific daylight time is when it is october 12th 12 p.m based on yours that's when you can when the uh, pre-orders are finished so of course understand that after that you're not going to be able to get it probably on the pre-orders at least at and um Probably in general, you're not going to be able to get it, to be honest. So go and take a look and enjoy all of this. And of course, get your plush if that is what you want. Fluff and Fox recently had their debut. Who is Fluff and Fox? Let me give you a little bit of a history lesson. They used to be Pochi Wanmaru, which was a part of Idol Yen. They had a bit of issues with management uh, and they had um, actually let out their frustrations on Fenriru, which was their original page and uh, which was their PL. They let out some of their frustrations about what was happening between Idol EN and uh, themselves. As we know now, Brave has bought Idol EN, but previously, now that Brave has bought Idol EN, a lot of people have mentioned that the old Idol EN management had a lot of issues, not only with not paying artists on time, but backwards issues like there are other members who have who had decided to take an extended hiatus because of management issues and now there's one member specifically that i've covered in the past otakun i believe his name is their name is that has decided to come back because brave group is now in charge so they used to be uh part of idol yen they switched to pochi wamaru and now they switch back to fluff and fox they wanted a full new creation to kind of get rid of all the bad juju, all that bad stuff, and create something new for themselves that was original and had nothing of the past. And as of right now, my recording of this, not when you're watching it, but my recording of this, the Fluff and Fox is, you know, just doing some uh, bracelets and things like that. So for their fans and things like that. So it is fun. Just, it's good that they're doing this. 
I'm going to go more on what they're saying. I wrote you a letter. As you know, this is Fox Brain. It's very, isn't very comfortable with words, but I wanted to share this with you. And I wanted to thank you. It was written a few hours before debut. To be honest, I'm a bit anxious and I'm not sure what to expect. I'm still learning and it's a lot of experimenting. I've stepped out of my comfort zone, met tons of nice people, did a lot of new things too. It's been a wild past year, two years. I've been working nonstop these last few months to make something both you and I could be proud of. There were some rough times, times where I really felt alone and everything felt wrong. I wouldn't be here now without them. I'm glad I'll be carving my own path. It's not so scary with others by my side. I hope everyone will enjoy the debut, even if it's not the craziest thing out there. I wonder if there's going to be scuff. Thank you to my wonderful model artists for working with me again. Kither444, Spiral Hero, they're both amazing and I couldn't recommend them more. Thank you to Imus1208, the Arcand, Mi Miflue, uh, Miruri-san, uh, Odd Top, Haichi, Litobug, all these people that they're mentioning there and everyone's help for making this debut possible. Big thank you to everyone who stopped by and see me even just for a moment. Special thank you to my community for loving me so wholeheartedly. Thank you for being so patient and understanding and thank you for pushing me forward. I'm really grateful for all the support you've given me throughout the ups and downs. Your encouragement means so much to me and I hope that there are more, that from here on out, we can make lots of happy memories. So like I said, they went through a lot. Pochiwamaru, they were terminated from the thing. They did separated from Idol Yen and they became Fenriru. And now they have their own unique thing that they created to kind of just make a new part for themselves. And I am uh, very, very glad that they have this for themselves. Welcome back to the VTuber Showcase, the place where everybody gets to have a little bit of time whenever I find them, whenever they come up in my feed. I try to bring up small VTubers, medium-sized VTubers, VTubers that are around my same size and even bigger than myself, just people that I feel deserve to be seen, which is every single VTuber out there. Sending some love to everybody. So here we go. We have Rion Alpha, which is a boy with a high-pitched voice. Yeah, they're now on Patreon. Some good news didn't last. My Patreon got approved and is finally live. If you like my art and want to see more, get extra goodies, variants of future illustrations, and first looks at upcoming projects, drawings, then I encourage you to join. And there you go. Of course, you know, drawings that they have here for Iron Mouse. And Rion Alpha here says, hello there. My name is Rion Alpha, not real. Uh, I'm a lunar bunny who loves to hang out and draw. I'm a boy. My pronouns are he, him. My voice is extremely feminine. I hope you don't mind. Predominantly draw and chat here, as occasionally as play casual games and relax when I want to have low energy stream, etc. I have, well, people say my energy streams are always low energy. I try to have higher energy streams. I do my best, but let's see what they what goes on with them. 80 percent petroleum, 80 to 90 percent petroleum, hydrocarbon, this to late with 10 to 20 percent activities. These are the chemical formula. <laughs> No. <laughs> you never, we'll never know what the formula is for. We'll never know what the formula is for, of course, because that's their secret and they're keeping it to the grave. Thank you so much uh, for Rion for allowing me to put you on the, the VTuber showcase. And also, I hope that this helps you grow at least in some way, big or small. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.